Omnia presents EMF radiation, the key scientific finding. Wireless digital technology rules our lives, but what is the one biological finding that everyone should be aware of showing the effects that radiation has on the human body? EMF radiation affects the science is clear. So just some background on this. The World Health Organization classified the threat as a possible carcinogen in 2011. Uh, the Bioinitiative report in 2007 showed from 2,000 studies a conclusion that there were biological effects from EMF and they actually started at a very low uh, exposure level. Bringing us on to the mechanism, uh, which is the key point of this presentation, Dr. Martin Paul found that voltage-gated calcium channels get stimulated by EMF and let too much calcium into the cell. And the final thing to note is that health effects have been proven at very low levels. Uh, we can prove in other videos that we are exposed to very high levels of electromagnetic frequencies um, and currents, um, but the health effects happen from very low levels. So here is Dr. Martin Paul, and I'm gonna summarize what he's put in his hour-long YouTube video, which you can look up if you'd like, um, all about electromagnetic field exposures and what they do to your health. So the summary is here. Uh, it's all about voltage-gated calcium channels. Uh, VGCCs are a group of voltage-gated ion channels found in the membrane of excitable cells, for example, muscle cells, glial cells, or neurons. They have a permeability to the calcium ion CA2+. The VGCC is on the outer membrane of the cell, so it opens up to let the calcium in. The voltage centers of this VGCC are roughly 7.2 million times more sensitive to the electrical effects of EMF than single charge groups which are present everywhere else. So that means that the, the cell membrane is 7.2 million times more sensitive than other parts of the cell, and that's important. EMF exposure increases the intracellular calcium almost instantaneously by activating the voltage-gated calcium channels. This triggers specific chemical effects in the cell. It induces nitrogen oxide to react with superoxide to form a very potent oxidant. This can release a lot of free radicals and cause a lot of damage, including breaking your DNA. And the result is called oxidative nitrosative stress. The reason that these ELF microwaves from phones and Wi-Fi can cause harm is because the target membrane is extremely sensitive. We talked already about the fact that it was 7.2 million times more sensitive. And there have been hundreds of studies that report changes in calcium fluxes or signaling following microwave EMF exposure. And the conclusion that we can draw from that is that this is happening to you all the time that you come into contact with this form of radiation. And not only that, but we've mentioned that there is an oxidization process, but also a generation of free radicals. And both of those things are linked to cellular damage and potentially to, to cancer as well. So the links to the other biological test results uh, Voltage-gated calcium channels, the mechanism is strongly linked with all of the other findings. Uh, cellular damage, which has a strong link to ultimately cancer. Um, infertility uh, is one of the easiest things medically to prove. The impact of this level of radiation on sperm by counting it, but also observing the motility and the mobility. Uh, and the quality of the sperm. And also it has an impact on egg, egg production in girls, um, which is obviously a finite cycle and something to be concerned about. DNA damage, we've mentioned earlier on, very strong link between the VGCC mechanism um, and a direct impact uh, on DNA strands. The blood-brain barrier penetration uh, this is all about the layer in between the skull and the brain, the blood-brain barrier, uh, where they found an increase in toxins purely due to exposure to mobile phone radiation, and that can cause headaches and tumours as well. 
Heart defects is also an issue. Um, the biggest electromagnetic frequency uh, pump in your body is your heart. And when you get an EMF device, such as a phone, that comes into uh, its radius, then you get complications. Um, immune system deficiencies have been observed for obvious reasons, um, because everything about EMF presents a stress to the body, uh, and therefore the body is always countering that stress and low on uh, immunity, natural immunity. Uh, mental disorders as well, from stress to anxiety to depression to brain frog and, and concentration, all of these things have been proven uh, in clinical studies. Sleep deprivation uh, is all about melatonin um, because the pineal gland excretes melatonin uh, during the sleep cycle and it is very sensitive to the form of infrared light that you get from a mobile phone and doesn't shut down properly. Um, uh, therefore um, doesn't believe that it's nighttime, doesn't, um, doesn't provide the right melatonin, which is basically the cleaning up squad of your whole brain and immune system uh, overnight. Um, so if that's not allowed to activate properly, then you can, um, you can wake up without a full healing cycle. Fatigue, uh, if you're low on energy because of the low electrical response that you have in your body, um, if anyone's seen our other video about the muscle test, you'll see exactly what a mobile phone or mobile phone radiation can do to the body's uh, electrical response. And of course, all of this has an increased impact on children. And the reason is because, for example, if you take their skulls, their skulls are thinner so because they're still developing. So what you get is a situation where those frequencies get into the brain quicker than they would in an adult. And that's just one of the uh, instances in which it's been proven that children are more susceptible uh, when they absorb these frequencies. Another point to make is that mainstream science is, is way behind in terms of the way that it measures everything. Um, it's hanging on to old measurement techniques which are, which are fast becoming redundant in today's world of electromagnetic frequencies where they're everywhere. Um, it's, it's talking in terms of thermal effects and specific absorption rates, um, which we can show just from Dr. Paul's findings are, are no longer the, the most relevant um, points of reference. We also talk in terms of ionizing radiation versus non-ionizing radiation. And I hope it's clear from not just Dr. Paul's findings, but our other videos, that that is no longer the benchmark. It can't be. Mainstream science has no approved way to measure either the vibrational and the frequency element of this meeting between radiation and the human cell, nor its impact on the human body. And this is something that we recommend uh, a lot of, of time and investment goes into um, because of the exposure levels that we're, we're subjected to. And Omnia has shown effects uh, on the human body through blood analysis, through muscle tests, and through water structure tests. Um, so these are all things that, that uh, any government body could do if they wished. The Omnia position uh, on uh, EMF is that there are three things that need to happen in today's world. Firstly, we need to balance the radiation that already surrounds you. Secondly, we need to ensure that you limit your exposure. Uh, and there are many measures that you can take to do this, uh, and we'll mention those in another video. Um, thirdly, we need to find a means by which our data can be delivered safely. Now, that might not be through electrical current, so that might be a big step for most people, but this is something that we can research. Um, delivering our data via things other, or by, via transport layers other than um, electrical currents would mean something that didn't necessarily harm the human body. Omnia is committed to all three of these initiatives, um, but especially with the number one. Um, the Omnia Radiation Balancer is our product and it provides a, a new understanding of radiation from which we can prescribe a unique solution that brings balance back to your body. So the Omnia stance is that you can apply an Omnia radiation balancer patch to any radiating device, either your router or your mobile phone or your laptop or your smartwatch or your tablet, even your microwave oven. 
And what it does is it returns any radiation that you receive through any of those devices back to a balanced state. And once it's done that, the body has nothing to get agitated by. So the body is in balance. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this really useful. You can find out all about our product at www.omniabalance.life. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Facebook channel because there'll be plenty more content to come. Thanks.